yo what's up my people welcome to 8dg universe for raw tonight we got a lot of big things going down including seemingly shit's getting out here set freaking rollins but i want you guys to know i'm breaking the fourth wall here this was happening in 8dg universe before it actually started happening in wwe sometimes these things happen to me it's like i'm i'm a connoisseur for the future or something like i'm kind of half psychic as my fam says uh and i something it really is almost like that but um in our main event we're gonna see logan paul versus rob van dam we're gonna make sure you know everything that's going on story-wise and i'm gonna talk about things with the channel as far as this show is concerned as well let's go ahead and kick this thing off with the first match of the night and you can see rick booze is here on raw in the corner in the corner of shinsuke nakamura interesting interesting um No, usually, uh, if you're, you're unfamiliar with the channel, usually I keep everything going in a, in a method that is close to the rosters in real life. Though sometimes I change a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but usually we like to go by a WWE schedule and realistic, uh, you know, rosters. So, Seth freaking Robinson, Shinsuke Nakamura. Also tonight, we normally, sometimes I simulate, especially for title match, but it, sometimes during regular shows, you guys know, I give people pushes. So. Shinsuke Nakamura tonight is gonna get that rub from me. Taking on Seth Rollins tonight in a impromptu, what I like to call a scrimmage match before the upcoming title match. Let's go. And things are already getting out of control here tonight on Raw. And this thing's going to the outside. So, some of you guys have been wanting, like, what's going on? Why haven't there been shows on Twitch? I've just been busy. Uh, there have been shows on Twitch, just not ADG Universe. And I decided to go ahead and just hit that record button here this evening, get the show rolling, and um, I thought it'd be better to put out something than nothing at all. Because usually, I'll be wanting things to be perfected. I want to make sure I do the things that I promise. But I feel like, Yes, those things are important, but I need to keep the show rolling or else no one's gonna care. <laughs> so, here I am tonight. Plus, if you don't know, also here on ADG, Rassin Sports Games Network currently, the Madden NFL season is here. So I don't want you guys thinking I forgot about you guys and this season doing Madden stuff. And there's gonna be a lot of Madden stuff, but vice versa, there's gonna be a lot of Rassin stuff too. Just stay tuned. Um, the way I'm doing my main channel is to free up for my other adventures, such as this channel, such as my ADG versus game channel. And that's going to open up for me to be able to do more uh, content on those channels without worrying about the view count and stuff like that. So, yeah. Oh, so I can chase other dreams. You know what I mean? Shinsuke Nakamoto right now in control. He's making a mockery out of Seth Rollins. Now we've seen in WWE this past week that just the other night on Raw in WWE Raw, not ADG Universe Raw, but WWE Raw, we seen Shinsuke Nakamura say he knows the weakness. He knows the weakness of Seth Rollins. He knows what it is. It's his back. He's like, I know your weakness. He said it's his back. You got to think here in ADG Universe, is he gonna do the same thing? He's gonna target the back. He just did just now. He just targeted the back of Seth Rollins. That's probably exactly what he's gonna do. Could we be looking at the future ADG Universe Champion? And vice versa, can he do it in WWE? Also, if you're wondering about another little thing that I promised you guys as far as the ADG Wrestling Sports Games Network Championship returning, it will as well. I have not designed those. I have not. So many things I want to do in of time. But oh God, here comes Shinsuke Nakamura right now. Gearing up for the Ken Shasta early here. Oh, Seth Rollins. No, Seth with the counter. Seth seen it coming. And now Seth into the cover off of the counter. What the heck? I ain't even going to say nothing. Seth just stole it here tonight. The champ just stole it from Shinsuke. Shinsuke's going to have to be a little bit more on point if he plan on beating Seth Rollins with the championship on the line. This was just a scrimmage, but you got to be a little bit more careful, my man. 
a little bit more careful. Right now, Seth Victoria's here tonight in our first matchup of the night. Breaking the fourth wall, I did not mean. <laughs> I did not. I, I really wanted him to get that uh, momentum. As big as that bar was, I should have got it too, but it is what it is. These things happen. All right, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Uh, e Torres versus Carmella is up next, but we got to do a little adjustments here at ringside because things may be a little bit too colorful. Uh, we're gonna configure the video real quick. All right, let's get it. Eve Torres making her debut here tonight versus the former champion who just lost the title. You got to think that Carmella wants to get back on track. And some may be wondering, why isn't Carmella getting this rematch? Well, because Ronda Rousey is. Um, and some say, why Ronda Rousey? Why Ronda Rousey? Hey, to stop. Ronda Rousey is a premier athlete. Ronda has came to me and she has been doing big things that you guys have not even witnessed before the AG Universe season was televised here on AG Wrestling Sports Games Network and Twitch.tv slash AntheGameADG. Before that even happened, she was doing her thing. So, Eve here tonight trying to climb in a, a victory over the former champion Carmella can do hell of big things for her career right now. Let's just be honest. It's gonna skyrocket her right over like, to the moon, as Cameron Grimes would say. It would skyrocket her to the moon right away if she can get the victory. And Carmilla knows she needs this W as well. Carmilla knows like, yo, it's time for me to put up and shut up. I need to get this victory. I need to show that I am worthy more worthy than Ronda Rouse. And from Staten Island, New York, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, Carmella. It feels kind of odd not seeing Carmella with that title around her waist, but it is what it is. Once again, if you fast forward through the moment when I told you guys why I decided to just do this locally here tonight and not really do a straight up, you know, live stream. Number one, I want to get that 4K on. Number one, I want to give you a real quality piece of content, even if it wasn't, say, uh, a real piece of quality content, even if it wasn't like uh, full of glitz and glamour and things like that. I promise all types of overlays, things like that, and I just haven't had time. There's so much going on. Y'all see what I've been doing. Bad. It's numerous games. Uh, Immortals of Avium yesterday. Punch Club 2, which may come here. Oh, man. Eve Torres showing that she can fly. Eve Torres was one of the top divas in the divas division at some always wondering what she could do in this day and time we're about to see it in adrian Burst. what will eve's career be and it starts with carmella here tonight now she does, i'm sure she doesn't want to let down her fans with a with an l but she's in there with the former champion carmella it could happen you see now you, anything can happen in any certain time you seen shinsuke get the world by me earlier tonight but it wasn't enough it was not enough for him to get the victory. <laughs> and Carmilla has a way of just like out of nowhere hitting you with that sweet mellow music of hers. Oh, look at that. Eve Torres gets took down it. Carmilla went from the back there. Also, numerous other things that I wanted to come to the channel once I clear up my time is number one, my rise. I do want to do my rise. I promise my rise with Will Smith and um, and Rihanna, and that is going to happen. It's going to happen. 
Irish hook down, Carmella off the gates. Oh, over and under. And oh, an elbow directly to the face. I am on the bar at times, so a lot of matches may get simulated tonight, including the robbery matches. But we will check out the news. We'll let you know. We'll get all the insight that you need to know about what happened within, you know, within uh, the robberies in those matches. But look at this Carmella. Shades of the Bella twins, but they were the Bella Buster and X Pac as well. On E Torres. E Torres trying to mount that comeback. Breaking the fourth wall here. You should know that when I do play, things are played on legendary settings with even higher bars for reversals than more. To make the AI very formidable competitor. Look at look at her go right now. E Torres is tearing it up and now twerking it up. E with her patented moonsault into the cover on Carmella. And the kick out. If there's anyone that you guys would like to see push a little bit more, uh, make sure you tell me in the comments below who would you like to see make a mark in 80s universe? Who would you like to see in more matches? And also, you can join as a manager. As I've been saying on Twitch, I need people to get active so we can be more interactive. I want this thing to be as interactive as I, I used to be with my other 80 verse X show. But I need you guys to participate, join the chat, etc., etc., in order to make that happen. What a match here. We're getting word from the 2K Board of Directors that this match is now a four star matchup between Eve Torres and Carmelo. Definitely. A uh, longer match than what we've seen between Rollins and Shinsuke earlier tonight. Uh, she was trying to climb. He probably was looking for a patented top rope maneuver. That's a drop kick, and now she's going back up. E Torres. Oh, she hit the moonsault, but to the back, but that would probably do it. For Carmella, the former champion in a whole lot of trouble right now. And she loses to E. Torres. A big push for E. Torres here tonight. So wherever this land, E. Torres, who will be next in the line of fire for E. Torres? And will Carmella be able to bounce back for this? Will she be looking for revenge? Could be possible. Could be Here's very possible. Winner. A big up to E Torres tonight with the W here in A DG Universe. All right, also tag team matching tonight Caden Carter and Dakota Kai and EO Sky in action. And the winner of that matchup, Caden Carter. Another non-title matchup. It seems like Damage Control keep losing their non-title matches. They won the other week when it mattered against, you know, against the Bellas, but I don't know what's going down. I do not know what's going down. Uh, Kevin Owens versus Sammy Zayn. Yes, the two friends going in here tonight. <laughs> And Kevin Owens get the victory over Sami Zayn going higher up the rankings. I hear they shook hands on it, and they're going to keep this thing moving. But tonight, the rivalry matchup continues. Apollo versus Gunther. You know, He's supposed to be taking on Mustafa Ali, though. I'm getting word from the directors here. Um... Instead of Gunter here tonight, there's been a change of plans. <laughs> Apollo Crews made his mark as the Intercontinental Champion when he came to Raw and surprised everyone by beating Gunter for the Intercontinental Championship 
a sight that no one thought they would see, but he got it done. And now the respect of Apollo Crews is being heard throughout the ADG universe. And WWE. Intercontinental Champion, Apollo Crews. Mustafa Ali, a man who's going to be headed to NXT after this match. This is his last match on Raw. He said, if he's going to go out, he's going to go out with a shot at the Intercontinental Championship because ADG Universe rules are if you can be a champion or a contender, you become next in line. That's why you see a lot of people sometimes challenging the champ or the contender to matches on the road to a pay-per-view because of that. Really looking to a battle to frost fight between Logan Paul and Robin Dam in the main event. How many people are happy to see this guy? How many people wanted to see this guy here tonight? Mustafa Ali headed to the ring for action. Weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. I'm going to be saying and repeating things over and over and over in these videos that I really need to have. First of all, like the video, comment, subscribe, all that you've done already. The second thing, let's get active so we can get interactive. You want to control people, you want to see people more in matches, you want to request, become a manager on the show, and that's all you need to do. That's all you need to do. In fact, if you become a sub on my Twitch, you're going to have even more power. Right now, that's undisclosed. I'm just saying, even more power. You let me know what you want to do. Even more power when you are a subscriber to the channel. Or if you drop me a tip, even more power. Okay? So... Yeah, support, and let's get it on. The Intercontinental Champion action tonight versus Mustafa Ali, and I'm sure Gunther's in the back watching this matchup. He wants the rematch. The rematch is going to happen. Apollo Crews and Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship very soon. When we talk about somebody matching the strength and the power of Gunther, and that it would be Apollo Crews. And we've seen it on numerous occasions that he gets it done. Apollo now on top rope. Oh, and the counter from Mustafa Ali, who's also a very game opponent. I can't say that Mustafa does not have talent because Mustafa does have talent. And Chelsea Green agrees. <laughs> she has talent, okay? Speaking of the women's division, uh, we've seen that numerous uh, women being added to our tag team. And we're going to be still making tag teams along the way we made it for the women and we're gonna do it for the men as well but right now the men's division is okay when it comes to tag teams you know but the women we're coming up with some ideas for adg universe if you have any ideas for women tag teams right now it doesn't matter if you've been talking in every video it doesn't matter if you've just been ghost watching it don't matter let me know in the comments below um what kind of tag teams you would like to see when it comes to the women division in ADG Universe. We're back in. Also, GMO needs a return as well, right? We need, to, we need to do these things before 2K24 come out. Oh, he got the kick, but it was a little off there. Ali getting covered by Cruz here. Nice move by... I'm looking to stop into the cover. He's trying to pull a Seth Rollins here tonight. But this time to the end of Continental Champion. That's what he's trying to do. But I think Apollo's had enough. No, the counter by Mustafa. And Mustafa. With that unorthodox. Apron Buster. And the 450. Mustafa's going to do it. He did it. Mustafa just upset at the champ. Now he's a number one contender. <laughs> Apollo Crews can't believe it. And I'm sure Gunther's very pissed off about this. Gunther is definitely upset about this. And now here comes Gunther. And I don't blame Gunther being upset. Gunther should be very upset. This, that, it must have been him 
and Apollo one on one, and now that has changed. Things have picked up for the Intercontinental Championship division, and it, and from Mustafa Ali, Apollo Cruz, and Gunther. Also tonight, Cody Rose versus Johnny Gargano. It's an interesting matchup here tonight on Raw. Johnny Gargano with, no, Cody Rose with the W here, advancing his career a little higher here in AD Universe. Coming up next, Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey. Set for a scrimmage match, so let's just make sure uh, that's going to happen here tonight. The 2K board directors have changed a couple of things here tonight. I'm not going to do anything in this match. I'm just going to see what's going to happen. Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey. We've seen it at WrestleMania, but now for ADG Universe in the upcoming pay-per-view, it's going to go down. And to be real, I did announce it, but I'm going to pretend like I didn't announce it because I done forgot already what the next pay-per-view is. <laughs> But Becky Lynch is very happy to now be the champion. She dethroned Carmella, and now she gets to hold the, the women's world championship up high. Making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, the WWE Women's World Champion, Becky Lynch. I may mute my mic in a couple of moments to, just to update. Uh, someone in the arena on a couple of things <laughs> but here comes the contender ronda rousey who actually right now needs to prove a lot to a lot of people um some may say she does not deserve this opportunity but this i'm going according to my rankings what 2k is telling me what she's been doing you know beforehand she is the number one contender some people should just deal with it let's go and if you don't know, technically Ronda Rousey is also the ADG Rousey Sports Games Network champion. And she wants her championship. And she wants all this gold. She wants all of it. She wants it all. And she wants it right now. This match kicking off right now between Ronda Rousey and Becky Lynch. Who's going to win? And here we go. Meet him on mic once again. I got to deliver a message. You know what I'm saying? back in this thing and look at this leverage coverage about ronda rousey you know it grinds my gears when people say ronda rousey cannot fight that Ron okay ronda's not that good on the mic okay yes but to say that ronda rousey can't wrestle that's like the weirdest thing whatsoever there's videos out there of ronda doing over 100 moves in wwe alone yet you want to say she can't wrestle are you serious are you serious yet yeah. And nothing against John Cena. I love John Cena. But yet, we'll support John Cena, and he has less moves. I'm just saying, maybe he's better on the mic. Maybe he's not upsetting you because apparently he's not. But when he was in WWE getting all the sh shots, he was doing him the same way. And this is about mainly Ronda Rousey getting, you know. But she's gone. My girl's legs are gone. I'm like, what's up with this dude taste? I like a lot of people, just like I like a lot of things. I just look at it as like, professional wrestling is professional wrestling. Everyone plays their part. Sometimes they're the bad guy, sometimes the good guy. Whatever they do, often, 
the thing unless they're being a murderer or doing something extremely unhumane I don't bother about it and sometimes they can say unhumane things but sometimes we all say things that we regret and sometimes we say things without thinking and I believe like when it comes to Lacey and Rhonda they are notorious for that let's not forget there's been some other people that have done things and that you're still like crazy over Charlotte Flair for example Becky Lynch for example people are very fickle very fickle in the wrestling community that's all I'm gonna say and uh, here we go oh the shoulder block to the outside here oh now they just bumping each other the disrespect the interesting sign of disrespect between both of these two they know they have some unfinished business they know they have a past when it comes to WWE but here for ADG Universe it's never been a thing Rhonda says she gets her title and, and, and she, she said she gets her title she get a shot but for the last couple of months months after months after months we have sat here and she has not seen her channel since eight oh, excuse me she has not seen her championship since ADG Wrestling Sports Games Network came to be she has not seen it uh, Drew has not seen this title either. Uh, it probably been Drew versus Cody. We probably seen Ronda versus Lita. None of those things never happened when it came to the ADG Grass and Sports Games Network uh, Championship Series. This has not been a thing. It's not happened, but it is coming soon. And Ronda's gearing up right now to add another piece of gold to her, and she wants that Women's Championship. The Women's World Championship. Ronda Rousey now. Becky Lynch fighting back in this scrimmage match. It's all about the momentum here tonight. But in the future, it's going to be about the title. Learn your opponent while you can. And Ronda. Put the punches to the face. Mounted punches doing the damage. And now the arm's doing the damage to power. Ronda could easily put this away now. P.S. I'm sorry, I just realized I didn't take the hurt out like I normally do. I do, I do apologize. So it's kind of telling the story sometimes. And here, Ronda has it locked in on Becky Lynch. And breaking the fourth wall, sometimes the computer does not use their resiliency. What the F? I noticed that from playing my faction. That does happen. Now Becky mounting that comeback. Can it be enough? Into the cover goes Becky Lynch. Off the clothesline. Oh no, Rhonda says it ain't going down like that. It ain't going down like that. She's she's ready to go. Becky Lynch top rope now. Trying to take down Ronda Rousey. Oh! Missile drop kick direct to the face. Directly in the face. Once again, if you have any ideas for people you like to see in matches on Raw or upcoming matches for any show, including the show Raw, let me know in the comments below. This arm is locked in. Can will Ronda Rousey tap out? No. I don't even think Becky did enough damage. <laughs> I can see. I can see everything. And now Becky with the manhandle slam. Can she beat Ronda here tonight? And Becky keeps the momentum on her size and shows shows Ronda Rousey, tells Ronda Rousey that look, it's the scrimmage tonight, but nothing's gonna be different. Nothing's going to change. I will remain the champion. The manhandle slam for the dub. Here is your winner, Becky Lynch. What a night it's been for AG Universe. Champions proving their points between Becky and Seth Rollins here tonight. Proving their points. Hmm, it made me think of a little match that maybe we should have. Maybe we should see Becky. 
and Seth versus Shinsuke. Yeah, and Ronda Rousey. Maybe we need to make that happen. Matches continue. Brock Lesnar and Drew McIntyre looking to climb the ranks of AD Universe WWE. Winner Drew McIntyre leading us to our main event here tonight. One that a lot of people are saying is going to sell uh, the tickets to the upcoming pay per view. And since I may, may I, I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys know because we need to know what is the upcoming pay per view. What is going down? At the upcoming pay-per-view, we just seen NXT TakeOver. That was a great event. But what's next for AJ Universe? It is money in the bank. So, these guys right now, Logan Paul and Robin, damn. I'm telling you guys right now, both of these two, I'm calling them right now. They're going to be in the money in the bank match. Rob and them getting the rub for me tonight. Logan Paul in the building. Low gang is going down, baby. It's scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 185 pounds. Logan. Logan Paul said an opportunity like money in the bank belongs to him. He told me an opportunity versus Robin. Damn, a guy who can't hit the frost splash better than him these days does not deserve the opportunity. But if we're trying to go back in time, then let's go back in time. And he's going to live his dream of beating Robin Dam in his prime when he's not even in his prime. And speaking of prime, get his prime drink. And his opponent from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob. I do want to apologize if there have been some clipping. There's just something about this new 4K cap card that it was a cheap one, but it's just something about it that it um, occasionally clips. It, it would be okay, I'll set it. It won't clip, and then occasionally it does clip. I'm watching it now, and I'm trying to make sure it doesn't clip on you guys, but I do apologize if it have. I just seen a minor clip, but it might have been the, just the Trons themselves in the game. Hopefully, it was just the Trons in the game. But the fan here is happy to see Robin then returning and Robin then being a part of 23's Money in the Bank for ADG Universe. And here we go. Robin then went for the kick there. Nope. Countered by Logan. Logan trying for the cover early. Everyone's trying to steal a page from the champ's book here tonight. Logan said he hasn't gotten any opportunities, but Bad Bunny has gotten plenty. And he doesn't like that. He doesn't like that at all. I say you might want to chill because Bad Bunny might also be in that money in the bank, that star set at money in the bank. I am choosing them all myself. Personally, I'm choosing, but... I'm listening to the people out there in the ADG universe. If you're out there, you're watching right now, you want to help me choose some of the other competitors in Money in the Bank for the men, the women, you let me know. Maybe I'll listen. Maybe I'll make sure it happens. Robin Dam in the cover after that butterfly face buster. Keep up. This is going to be a very interesting matchup between Robin and them and Logan Paul 
And I think personally, looks like already oh, still got it. Oh, miscalculation. I hope I didn't jinx him there. The DDT into the cover, and this is our main event here tonight. What about the upset? Some of the upsets we've seen here tonight. Well, I'm, I don't know if we should say Shinsuke was an upset, but in a way, I feel like it is. Because Shinsuke has been really on top of his game. But Mustafa Ali, definitely, that was an upset. And some would even consider Eve, even though she's a legend, to upset the, the former champion. That, to beat the former champion, that was an upset. Look at this. Oh, ran into the barricade. Russian leg sweep from Robin. Damn. I don't know what RVD was thinking there. He just giving Logan Paul some time here. You know, do we really want to give Logan Paul some time? And oh man, RVD setting up. Taking out the competition there. Will that do it here? Can Robin then win by count out? Oh, Logan Paul's back up. He's in it. But here it comes. The amazing whole effing show, Rob Van Dam. Looking to make easy work and teach Logan Paul a lesson here to respect a ECW legend, to respect a WWE legend, a legend in wrestling, period, in Rob Van Dam. A man who's traveled the globe. Oh, he's in the corner. He, he just. He just crawled to the corner. I don't know if that was a smart decision, though, bro. Because. Yeah, I would say Van Damme is known for some crazy things in that corner, too. But give it up for Logan Paul trying to stay in this. The road to money in the bank. Making a statement here tonight would be great. Oh! Logan is definitely scouting. He knows Robin Dam. That's one thing about a veteran. There's a lot of tape out there on you. Where maybe at one time there wasn't so much tape on you, and now there's just a ton out there for young athletes like Logan Paul to study, to dissect. If watching you growing up wasn't enough for them, and bam, the five-star frog splash. But he watched tape or not, it was not enough. Oh. The matchup continued though. We talk about grit in the words of Edge, but tonight we talk about it for Logan Paul. Oh man, springboard moonsault by RBD. And it doesn't work. Logan Paul is refusing to lose here tonight. Logan Paul staying in the game. Too much tone in there. That's one thing about Robin Dam. He's always been like, maybe a little bit talked about. There's always been a heavy discussion if he pumps a little bit too much and if he could be a better superstar. Maybe he didn't do so much, you know, pandering to the fans, you know, being, you know, outside of himself sometime. But that's what we love about Robin Dam. I'm going to be honest. Who hates that about RBD? I know I don't. Already setting him up in the corner, though. R.E.D. Going for the split-legged moonsault there. Steps over. Climbs up again. This got to be it. Two fall splashes. Has to put Logan Paul away, right? One, two, three, and it's in the books, baby.
Watch your back. Watch your back. Robin, damn victorious here at the end of the show here tonight. Putting on an effing show in the main event. I want to thank you guys for coming out, but stay tuned because guess what? We got the post show, and I'm going to be telling you who are at the top of the Raw rankings. So, great, great night. Um, didn't even take that long, actually. Um, so... We got to take Jimmy and Jay off these rankings, I feel, but they were in there for, you know, at one point for certain things. So if you don't mind, we're going to adjust right here, right now, actually. We got to get Jimmy and Jay off the show. Sorry, guys. You, you guys got to go. You got to go. You, you're doing amazing things. Shout out to Jay if you guys don't know. Jay has won an opportunity to face Roman Reigns after defeating AJ Styles and Brock Lesnar in a number one contender match on SmackDown. You gotta wonder where that puts Jimmy though. Where does that put Jimmy? Oh, <laughs> y'all know why I'm doing these storylines. You gotta know, right? You gotta know. All right, going back into the power ranking, Seth Rollins is at number one. Uh, and of course, we know why. Dakota Kai won half of the women's tag team champions. Though, after events that happened here tonight, probably at Money in the Bank, we're gonna see Dakota Kai uh, take on, and it may happen next week. It may happen before the pay-per-view. Not really sure yet, but in the future, very soon, we're gonna see Caden and Katana Chance get a shot at the Women's Tag Team Championships. Luke Gallows, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, aka my Undisputed Champions, at number three. Number four, Apollo Creed, Cruz, the Intercontinental Champion. He lost tonight, though. That's, mm. And now Mustafa gonna get a chance at being in between him and Gunther. Brock Lesnar, been making moves, one to look out for. If you're a champion, Brock Lesnar is a free agent. He can come where he want to want to, you know, come where he want to go. So if you're Roman, if you're Seth, you may want to watch out for Brock Lesnar. Natalia, at number six, a superstar who just got here to Raw. Some may say should have had that opportunity tonight, but maybe we see Natalia get it on with Eve or something down the line. Just, just stay tuned. Carl Anderson, the other half of the tag team champions. For some reason right now, I'm on the fans rated a little lower than his tag team partner. EO Sky, also rated a little bit lower than her tag team partner, coming in at number eight as the WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. Johnny Gargano at number nine. We've seen Johnny Gargano win some big time matches. He didn't win here tonight, but he's still up there at number nine with the fans. At number 10, the number one contender, Shinsuke Nakamura, who didn't get it done tonight, you gotta think that if he would've got it done, he would've been placed a little bit more higher up in the rankings. Uh, next week, maybe he'll get that you know, that pushback. I'm putting her, him and Ronda in the ring with Becky and Seth. It's gonna be an interesting main event next week right here on Raw. So, with that being said, that's gonna end this edition of ADG Universe Raw. Thank you guys for watching my Universe Mode. I know I plan a lot of things and I'm gonna work on it, but there's you know there's just so much going on so much going on and so much i want to do and i love making this content baby i love doing it i do so with that being said i'll see you guys next show next video i'm out of here Peace.